Hey, this is Jeremy from Northern Kentucky, and you are watching Trucker Josh and Diesel on TJV. Morning, great people of the world. We're in Edmonton. Well, technically Sherwood Park, Alberta. And leave it to me to find some countryside and some bush inside the city, eh? <laughs> so my shipping appointment, or my load appointment, is 1 p.m. So I didn't want to just sit around this morning and do nothing. So we went out on a walk, just me this morning. And I'm exploring this, uh, what is it called, Stratacona? Park? What was it called? One second here. Keeping track on my fitness app here. I've been walking for 4.41 kilometers right now. Oh, it was the Centennial Park. Walking through the trails. Here's my route that I've been. One second. Ah, nothing's working for me right now. Okay. There's my. Oh, you can't see it, can you? You just have to trust me probably be six or maybe close to seven kilometer walk this morning i had a lot of time so figured why not i've been feeling a lot better notice i'm less out of breath still out of breath yeah still not totally where i want to be fitness wise but doing a lot better though and look at this even in the city well we're on the outskirts of the city it's like a suburb of edmonton still get to go on a nice nature walk That's the proper way to start a day. Makes me happy being out in the bush. So the time is now noon. And I've got about 30 minutes of walking. Maybe a little less to get back to the truck. And uh, it'll be 12.30. And we have half an hour to get just down the street for our one o'clock appointment. So it should work out just perfect. And then I got my walk out of the way. I'm not even clocked in. I didn't even have to clock in. I'm not working. I'm off duty. I'm just, I'm on leisure time, as they say. So I got my walk out of the way now. So when I go pick up my freight, I can just hammer down. I want to get home tomorrow. So today is Wednesday when I'm filming this. Oh, let me go to an opening here. It's Wednesday when I'm filming this. Uh, gonna be home on Thursday afternoon. Friday, Saturday, and half of Sunday. Sunday afternoon, we start the journey to the south. I'm just gonna say we're going to Savannah, Georgia. As more people know where Savannah, Georgia is, I think. What do I know? We're going right around that region there. Delivering a fuel tank to uh, a new Love's Travel Plaza coming up down there. So once I get there, I'll be able to show you where it is and then Whenever you guys are down there, and you fuel there, think of me. I helped in the construction of that. I brought them their fuel tank all the way down from Canada. I guess we're coming out into a park. You got a couple baseball diamonds, soccer fields. Beautiful here. It's a really nice day today too. You see everything's melting. It's a nice temperature. The cool air just is just enough to cool you down so you don't sweat too much. But it's not so cold that you freeze your hands and freeze your face off. It's perfect. So I don't know what my reload is coming back from Georgia yet. I'm kind of thinking like the only thing I've ever picked up in the south is in Tennessee, that's steel. So I guess, you know, doing a nice little trade, if that's what I pick up. Bring them down an underground fuel tank from Canada bring that down there for them so they can use that and then I'll pick up some of their nice American steel and bring that up here to Canada to someone who needs it up here I don't know if that's gonna be my reload but that's the only thing I can think of I've never been down there with a flatbed used to always go down there with uh, when I was on van division 
Oh no, a fork in the road. Which way do I want to go? Okay, well the truck is that way. So I think we're going to take that trail that way. I got to start making my way back to the truck. Oh yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I've got to try to get reloaded quickly and get home quickly because I have a, a wedding in the family to get to the following sat the following Sunday. My aunt is getting married. And I really want to be there for her and be there for the wedding. So I'm going to have to rush back. It's going to be tight, but oh, don't tell me I can't do it. I'll show you I can. As long as the load gods give me something that'll work with that. Trucking, right? You never quite know what's going to happen until it happens. We'll see. That well, was a wonderful walk. We walked 6.89 kilometers, took us an hour and 10 minutes. We burnt 502 calories and we're feeling great. Now we got to go pick up our freight. We'll throw that big tank on my trailer, tie it down. We've done our pre-trip here, so uh, our day is now officially begun. Now that my wheels have started rolling, you can't take that back. No take backsies. The day has begun. As soon as you start rolling, the e-log clicks on and you can't change that. Once it says you're driving, you're driving. It is gonna be a messy day out there. I'm gonna have to make sure I buy some extra washer fluid today. So we gotta go, uh, Pick this tank up. It's weird. The address says it's in the northwest, but it's actually in the like southeast, the opposite end. So I was expecting it to be in the northwest. But good thing I checked the map yesterday. That's why I'm at this Flying J and not at the one on the the west side of town. Well, we're getting loaded. We got these guys at the front. We're getting some cement blocks, and then there's going to be two big tanks behind this yet. One four foot wide, one six foot wide. Those we have to load across the street. We're doing this stuff here and then they'll take me over there. So they're loading this stuff up with the boom truck, with the forks that lift and extend. We call that a boom truck. And we go across the street and they'll load the big tanks on with a crane. So we just So we just stopped here at the Flying J. You guys want to see the load? We got these three pipes on the front. Uh, this little tank at the front and then the bigger one at the back. This way I can see both tanks. If they would have put the smaller one at the back, I wouldn't have been able to see the small one, right? That's what we got. We're taking it all the way down to Georgia. About a four day drive from here or so, maybe a little more. On our way, we have, according to Karen here, 1,367 kilometers to go. Uh, it's about 13, 14 hours of just driving. And we'll be home, like I said, for a few days. stayed here in a very long time. This is Radisson, Saskatchewan. It's 
what, maybe a half hour before Saskatoon on the way back home? Going east. This used to be a little old dingy truck stop, but then they renovated it and now it's really nice. I don't think it's open 24 hours though. But a restaurant here, nicely lit parking lot. They even got Christmas lights on here, so I like it. Red Bull Family Restaurant. Wonder if they sell Red Bull there? <laughs> oh, I'm funny. I am funny. So where do we park? I think just over here, right? Oh, this lot goes all the way back here yet. Yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna find a parking spot and uh, close our eyes for the night. How's that sound? So that's that. Got all the paperwork's done. Oh, I can actually just send it in here. Just like that, all the paperwork for the day is done. Two little buttons. Come on. I still have quite a bit of time left on my clock. Why is this thing jammed? You have seven hours and 56 minutes of remaining drive time. Thanks. But I'm gonna do it tomorrow. We have 922 kilometers left. That's, uh, uh well, let's find out exactly. 922 kilometers divided by 1.61. 573 miles left to do tomorrow. Oh, and I'm okay with that. I gotta get up early, and go to bed early here, and get on a good schedule again. I'm gonna stop for another walk tomorrow, make healthy choices again. We made good choices today. What do you think, Diesel? Take you for a quick walk and then go to bed? What do you think? The way you're staring at me, I, I think you agree with me. I agree with me. Thanks for watching every, uh, thanks for watching today, guys. Uh, tomorrow is a new day, we'll have another new video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I think about 30% of my views right now are coming from people who aren't subscribed, who just found me and suggested videos. Go ahead and subscribe, hit the little bell beside it, and if you thought the video was great, give it a thumbs up. If you thought it was terrible, give it a thumbs down. Leave me a comment down below, and feel free to share it with your friends if you want to. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.